Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're NT Beer Guys. We promote NT Craft Beer online, ntbeerguys.com. Doing something a little different today. We're outside on one of Dave's brew days. He's doing something really special for you. We're not going to talk about it yet in case it bombs. Because he's, exactly, right. he's not exactly <laughs> sure how it's going. But it's going to be great if he hits his marks. That's right. So recently we were down at Southern Pines Brewery. They had their second anniversary party. We had a great day, yep. great brewery. And I want to tell you a little bit about the party we went to. And also we came home with some great beer. That's right. So they celebrated their second anniversary uh, just last Saturday with a huge party featured a lot of bands throughout the afternoon and evening. Food trucks, bouncy house for the kids. Hundreds came out for the celebration. The nations were accepted for the Food Bank of Central North Carolina and Eastern North Carolina to help the hurricane victims, which we all just went through the Matthews mess. Celebration was capped off with a performance by McKenzie's Mill, a Nashville band featuring local brothers Justin and Ryan Harris, and their Southern Fried Rock and Roll. The brewery named a new beer in their honor called McKenzie's Mill Triple IPA. Oh, yes. And Southern Fine says, quote, get ready for the biggest IPA we've ever made. The McKenzie's Mill Triple IPA, this 11.5% ABV beer has 100 IBUs and it's being continuously hopped with single hot mosaic. Oh my God. So McKenzie's Mill, the band, uh, closed the night and they, we were able to get this beer. We didn't drink it on site that day, but we came home with it. That was released that day. Uh, as I said, it's 11.5% hard to ever use. And Dave, on the can, on the can, there's even a QR code. Which is right here. To download a free song. That's right. From McKenzie's Mill. And they are hometown people from West End, down near Southern Pines. And they do Southern Fried Rock and Roll. I like that. So we are we had a great day. Thanks guys for hosting us and it was fun inviting us down. Thanks. Yep. And Love it. we came home with great beer. So let's oh. see what we think of it. You said the keyword mosaic. Yeah, that should be excellent. That is my favorite hop. This is gorgeous. I mean, look how clear that is, how beautiful. In your nice IPA glass. That's right, it has to be. Delica, a triple Delica, Delica IPA glass, too. Yeah, yeah, a triple IPA has to be in an IPA glass. Now, do you expect, well, okay, at 100 IBUs. If I was told that, I would say it was bitter as all hell. But you know, you don't taste but, 100 right. IBUs. No. But to be triple IPA, that more references not triple hops so much as triple strength, well, the ABV. Yeah, it's the International Bittering Unit, so they really loaded up with a lot of mosaic. Right. A ton, based on the calculations they did. That's right. But I just, you can now, drink the, it. I'm just going to sit here and smell. The aroma is wonderful, but it's not real hopping the aroma. You get hops, but for a triple, do you think? No, well. Outdoors, where it's a little different, the aroma outside, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's enclosed. Right. We have a little breeze going, but you just sit here and languish with the yeah, wonderful the aroma mosaic aroma. Wonderful. <laughs> I want to see what you think of that. I've had it already. Wow. It is a lot of hops for me. Now, okay. just to be honest, you guys who follow us know that I'm not a hop head. Um, it's not bitter. No, but it's, it's hoppy. It's, 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 okay. It is hoppy. It is. It's that good mosaic hop. I'll give you that. Yes, it's the flavor of mosaic. Mm -hmm. And a lot of flavor. And a lot of flavor, but it is not bitter. Hmm. I mean, it is so smooth. That's what impressed me. That it is wonderfully smooth. And for an IPA, the mouthfeel is a little more uh, substantial. I think. Well, it's a triple IPA. That's right, and that makes sense that it would be because it's not one of those IPAs that you're going. to refresh and clean up easily. Yeah. This is going to linger with you a while. Right. And a little bit of extra um, potency, I think, comes through well, in the flavor. And this is what you said. That's 11.5. 11 11.5%. 11 oh. so this is enough. <laughs> one, one can. Is, oh, can you read this back here? Yes, I can. Being I born and raised in the Sand Hills area is something we are grateful for. Yeah. Our family, friends, and community are so important to us. They thought to be honest, sincere, and compassionate. I'm passionate about what we do. We are honored to partner with another group 
of guys who share the same pride in the area and love for what they do. Southern Pines Brewery. Who's we proudly present to you McKinley's McKenzie's oh. Mill Triple IPA. We hope us present it. We we hope us as we hope as oh you're as reading this. oh as you're reading this that the music is loud, the beer is cold, and the good times are had. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Yeah, it doesn't That's sound great. the same for me, huh? That's great. No, not quite. You're not quite y'all in here. So it's State Road 1230, McKenzie's Mill Road, and NC 73 Highway. And you got, if you've not been to Southern Pines, beautiful location. Uh, Top room is gorgeous. And, and the beers are, mm -hmm. we've never had a bad beer there, mm -mm. ever. Uh, particularly their, their produced product. All right. We've had some one-offs there that were unique and wonderful, but we've never had a bad one. And now, we, one that they just released, Drunken Vigils, oh. is back out again. So look for that in cans. Yep. And that one is... I'm going to say stupid good. I have some of my, <laughs> I have some of my, my refrigerator. That was, that's what I came home with personally. That, yep. We also had that day, the bourbon barrel aged oh, drunken vigils. Yeah. Now that was a special treat. I, w I wish they had that produced. Yeah, but he had a very that. small quantity of that. Right. And yep. that that was something really special. If mm -hmm. you, they did the bourbon this just it was right. Beautiful. On top of an already very good beer, that drunken yep. vigils is excellent. Yep. At like 14.9%. And then when you know going from having that and then having one of these, I this I'm really loving this beer. And this is so unique too. This mm -hmm. is excellent. So again, our shout out to the guys down in Southern Pines. Yes. And Southern Pines Brewery. And we remind you as always, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.